In today's quick tip, I am going to show you how to transform an image and make it look like it is exploding. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Before you begin, make sure you're working on an image that doesn't have a background, it's very important. If you can't find such an image, no worries. I made a tutorial a while back explaining how you can remove different types of backgrounds. I'll make sure to include the link of the video in the description box. Alright, let's get started. First, make a copy of the original picture. Hit Ctrl J on your keyboard. Go to Filter and start Gimmick. In the search bar, type Breaks. It will appear under Deformation. Click on it to activate it. Type 232 in the Amplitude input box. Type 34.4 in the Frequency and leave the smoothness to zero. Click OK. Back to the original image, click on the layer to activate it. Using the Move tool, move the image toward the right side of the canvas. Time to clean up the image, grab a brush. Select the Airbrush Linear. Decrease a tiny bit the opacity and the flow and activate the eraser mode. Remove the top of the head and around the bottom of the image. Let's create a nice little background, shall we? Create a new layer and using the down arrow, move it at the very bottom. Grab the Draw a Gradient tool. In the Tools option docker, you will see two drop-down menus, one for Shape and one for Repeat. The settings should be Linear for the Shape and Known for Repeat. In the color wheel, select a color that matches the best to your image. To draw a gradient, it's a very easy. With your left mouse button, click on one side of the canvas. Drag a line all the way toward the other side of the canvas. And now let go. Create a new layer and move it underneath this gradient. Click D on your keyboard and then click X. The foreground color is now white. Click Shift plus Backspace to fill this layer with a white color. Go back to the gradient layer and hit Ctrl U. Using the sliders, refine the shades and tones of your gradient. And you are done! You have created an image that looks like it exploded. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. I will see you next time. Until then, au revoir et à bientôt.